My dear boy, no woman is a genius. They are a decorative sex. They never have anything to say, but they say it charmingly. Women represent the triumph of matter over mind, just as men represent the triumph of mind over moral. I dreamed of him last night. I saw his face, all radiant and unshadowed of distress. And as of old in music measureless, I heard his golden voice and marked him trace. Under the common thing, the hidden grace, and conjure wandered out of emptiness, till mean things put on beauty like a dress, and all the world was an enchanted place. And then me fought outside a fast locked gate, I mourned the loss of unrecorded words, forgotten tales and mysteries half said, wonders that might have been articulate. And voiceless thoughts like murdered singing birds And so I woke and knew that he was dead In Reading Jail by Reading Town there is a pit of shame And in it lies a wretched man eaten by teeth of flame In a burning winding sheet he lies And his grave has got no name and there, till Christ call forth the dead, in silence let him lie. No need to waste the foolish tear, or heave the windy sigh. The man had killed the thing he loved, and so he had to die. And all men kill the thing they love, by all that is be heard. Some do it with a bitter look, some with a flattering word. Brave man with a sword. My reputation does not worry me. It really seems to worry a hell of a lot of people on your side. No money has been made out of my reputation since my death, and ever I was able to make out of my plays, which goes to say that sin is very successful. My mind was always very wide open, and as you say, above the average. Can you tell me what the average is, and how open a mind should be? I was always ready to receive inspiration. Indeed, I might say that my most successful works were due to the fact that I had an open mind, and in consequence, much that was poured through it of inspiration, uh, which was highly successful. And I feel sure that if it were not for the fact that I was high-minded, we wouldn't have had perhaps some of the successful works that I was able to perform. But of course, all this is a matter of dispute among many people. One man's rat poison is another man's meat. But um, I'm quite prepared to admit I was inspired. I was always an inspiring figure. In fact, now I've become almost all inspiring, possibly because I'm dead. So many people, when on earth, were so serious that they couldn't fail to be utterly boring. And I refuse to join such a gathering. Yes, I do think it was fair. But as there will always be people who say, how do we know that this is Oscar Wilde? And so I'm expecting to come back very much the same, the same attitude towards life and towards people, and to say the same sort of things that would be expected of me. So for your sakes I do this, because I know for a dear you're struggling so desperately hard to convince. And if I can assist you to convince, then I should be doing some good work with me by hide some of my blocks. Come è stata caratterizzata in tutta questa mia produzione in maniera assolutamente schematica e semplicistica? È stata caratterizzata prima di tutto da un istintivo e profondo odio contro, la, contro lo Stato in cui vivo. Dico proprio Stato, eh, intendo dire Stato di cose e Stato nel senso proprio politico della parola.